I will illustrate with this exercise the proce process of synchronizing the asphalt placement and finishing processes. The asphalt will be produced by the shown rate and placed by a paver uh, to form a 12 feet wide, 1 inch uh, thick uh, asphalt mat with the required uh, shown density. The asphalt will be compacted by rollers uh, with the shown efficiency and operational requirements. The roller uh, cannot drive more than uh, 3 miles per hour and its laps need to uh, overlap and extend beyond the pavement edge by 6 inches. We will adjust the speed by 15% and 10% to account for non-productive and speeding times. With all these uh, known values, we need to determine the number of rollers that should be used. We will apply a process that we explained in the, uh, in the lesson video to decide on the number of rollers to have the compaction pace matches the placement page, uh, pace. We start uh, by calculating the overall required compaction width, RCW, by adding the overage extensions to the pavement width. We calculate the effective rolling width, ERW, by deducting the lap uh, overlaps uh, from the roller width. Then we calculate the number of laps to be able to cover the whole RCW of the road considering the roller ERW. We find that we uh, that the uh, pavement width will be covered by three overlapping laps. Every lap will require three passes. Sorry, uh, then we calculate the uh, so, uh, sorry. Um, so every lab will require three passes, so we'll uh, need uh, nine passes, passes total. We will use this formula to calculate the required uh, roller speed to match the pace of the paver. Knowing that the paver, dri well, the paver uh, drives at speed uh, SP and the rollers are catching up with it with nine times the distance and some adjustment uh, factors. We also pump up the speed to account for the overall operation efficiency. We have all the values in this uh, uh, last formula except for the paver speed which we will calculate following the same process we covered in the uh, lesson video and uh, exercised in another example video. We start first by calculating the weight of a one feet stretch, uh, one foot stretch of the road. We need to be careful uh, uh, matching the volume and density units at sh as, uh, as shown. Then we calculate the paver speed that matches the plant production, which we find to be 29.5 uh, feet per minute. Back to the roller speed uh, formula, we use all the known values and get a rolling speed of 4.58 miles per hour. But we have a problem here as the uh, specifications limit uh, us to uh, 3 mile per hour rolling speed. So we can reduce uh, the required rolling speed by using two rollers, not one. In this way, each roller uh, will be responsible for 4.5 passes, not 9, and the uh, roller's uh, required speed will drop by half to 2.3 miles per hour. Uh, 